Yo, YouTube family, what's going on? Guys, thank you so much for hitting me up and sending questions. I decided not to be lazy and just kind of put together like an official uh, video rather than use my uh, cell phone. Um, and what this is is just a Decton X-Gloss series uh, countertops. This particular surface or the pattern that I have here is the Fjord, although if you go to Decton's website, it appears to be a rust color. It's not, guys. It's kind of gray. Um, it's a gray pattern uh, color. Uh, I've had these countertops literally over three years now, and I can tell you that it's been, it's, they've been a joy uh, for me. Um, <clears throat> I know the number one question I get is cracking, chipping, and guys, I haven't had that issue at all, and I'm going to tell you, I'm not the gentlest on my countertops. Obviously, these countertops are expensive, so you do want to take care of them, uh, but I have not experienced any of that. I've had big pots, you know, bump the corner of my sink uh, without uh, much issue at all. Now, something that's great about Decton uh, is that it is a man-made material. Um, so it's not quartz, so you can put hot things on it. They say that you can even cut on it. I wouldn't recommend doing that just because I've tried that before, and it does leave some light uh, lines um, on the countertop. They don't etch, as you can see here. Um, near the sink, and generally if you're dealing with a natural surface such as a granite or marble, etchings uh, can be a huge problem. And if you're not familiar with etching, guys, it's just really the uh, the, the composition and the water uh, interacting, I guess, with the minerals um, on the natural surface, and it causes it to lose its shine um, or the gloss uh, finish, I guess. And so with Decton, of course, you don't have to worry about that. One of the biggest problems that X Gloss Line saw for me, and again, this is just another view uh, where you can see that there's not any chipping. Um, but like I was saying, one of the biggest problems that the X Gloss Line saw for me is the the standard deck and stuff isn't very glossy, and the and I'll show you pictures of just so you guys can see it like a before and after. But many times people ask me, um, you know, was it a laminate? You know, which is fine. Nothing wrong with laminate, guys. But if you spend eighty dollars a square foot on the stuff, you don't want people thinking that it's laminate. Uh, this stuff, the X gloss, is actually a bit more pricier. But I don't get that question. People know that it's. Uh, they're not sure what it is. Uh, I've gotten, you know, granite, and marble, and quartz, and everything else. But uh, it just doesn't look cheap, and the stuff is very, very, very durable. Um, so a couple of tips. If you are planning on getting Decton countertops installed, a couple things just I want to make you aware of is this. Get a good fabricator is going to be my number one tip. Um, do lots of research. I know that people have, you know, online and through different reviews have reported this stuff cracking. I have not ran into that issue at all. Uh, this is going to be the second time that I've had Decton um, in my house. I will tell my story at another time, but a horrible incident happened and required me to kind of redo my entire first floor of my house. Um, so that's going to be number one. Two, if you can avoid it, don't use the big, big box retailers. Um, and this has just kind of been in... This is my opinion. This is what I used the first time that I had the stuff installed. And they just kind of use um, fabricators that they tend to work with. And you're just a number, really. Um, the second time, I didn't use uh, a big box retailer. I kind of went. So on to my dislikes. And I only have three. Um, the number one is going to be the cost. Decton is insanely expensive. I mean, this stuff, especially on the X-Gloss line, um, you're looking at easily $100 or more a square foot for this stuff. <clears throat> now, it's been a little while since I looked at pricing, but no one understands that Decton is probably going to be one of the most expensive surfaces uh, that you can get from your home. I'm not saying this is the most expensive. There's, of course, exotic uh, quartz and exotic uh, granite and, you know, marble that you can put. But 
for the average everyday Joe, it's going to be a little bit more pricey. <clears throat> it is a fingerprint magnet, guys, with the glossy stuff. Just keep that in mind. The lighter colors tend to do a better job of shielding this uh, where you don't see them uh, as readily, but they're still there. I think the biggest one for most consumers, especially if you're looking at the natural uh, patterns, is going to be that it is very limited. Um, and that I believe that there's only four or five for the natural. And then last but not least, the fabricators. Um, there's not a lot of people that can cut the stuff. Then you can run into the chipping problems that uh, you've heard other people uh, in the reviewers report. So here are my likes, and there are definitely a few more. Uh, and just I want to just put this out there, guys. This is my perspective, of course, me living with the stuff. But Decton is a very beautiful surface. Um, I have yet to have someone to, you know, ask questions like they did with the stuff that I had previously. Um, it is very nice. It is extremely durable. Uh, I'll put an asterisk by that uh, just because I know that there's a concern with cracking and chipping. I haven't had any of those issues. Um, it is extremely easy to clean. I use some good old-fashioned foam glass cleaner. Um, I know that Decton says that it's stain resistant. I'm going to say stain proof. Just because I stuff has happened with these countertops where I've had people over and you know they spilled something on the countertop itself and it's been on there for like weeks and I was able to get it off no issues whatsoever. Um, I'm gonna say scratch resistant just because I've tried cutting on the surface and it does leave a little um. I'm not going to say they're real scratches or maybe light scratches, I guess. Nothing deep, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. And, you know, these are really nice, expensive uh, uh, tops. And then, last but not least, heat resistant. Putting hot pots on this stuff um, isn't an issue whatsoever, whatsoever, guys. So, anyway, thank you again so much for watching. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you do like my videos, please like and subscribe. Until next time, guys. Thank you so much. And uh, just as a little tidbit, I'll put the before and after picture so you can see my first Decton countertops as opposed to these. And I think you'll see a clear, distinctive difference between the um, the standard Decton stuff and the new X-Gloss line that they do have.